Okay, let's begin. Um, so today I'll try to do the opposite. I'll write down the integral, and you have to figure out what kind of domain it is being integrated over. So here's a fr theta, and let's say r dr d theta is put here. And let's say that you have. Uh, so you have uh, 4 to 4 plus 4 cosine theta. And then you have the angle from negative pi over 2 to 0. So given this integral, your goal is to figure out the domain of integration. The question is, what is the domain of integration. And you'll be asked to sketch it. If you were to sketch the domain of integration, what is it? That's basically the question. All right, so let's try this. Uh, first, just like how we interpreted the double integrals for dy dx or dx dy, Whenever you see this integral, you have to interpret the inner integral as these curves. So you have r equals to 4 and r equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta. Those are the curves. And let's think about what r equals to 4 is. What kind of curve is r equals to 4? It's a circle of radius 4. It's a circle of radius 4. It's a circle. OK, now the next question is, what is r equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta. Well, I know that in general if it's a plus a cosine theta or a minus a <coughs> cosine theta or uh, it could also be sine, sine or cosine. These, these types are what? Cardioids. Okay, these are cardioids. So I know that it's a cardioid. Uh, but then, knowing it's a cardioid is not enough. You should plot a few points to figure out what kind of graph it is. So if you plug in 0, you get 4 plus 4 times cosine 0 is 1. 4 plus 4, that's 8. So you have 8. And if you plug in 90 degrees, you get uh, cosine 90 degrees, which is 0. So you get 4 plus 0, which is just 4. And then when you have theta is 180 degrees, cosine 180 degrees is negative 1, so you have 4 plus 4 times negative 1, which gives you 0. And then when you have 4 plus uh, 4 cosine 270 degrees, that's uh, two, cosine 270 is 0, so you get 4 plus 0. And therefore, you go four steps to, in the direction of 270 degrees, so you get these, these four points. Okay? And then uh, now you, it's kind of obvious what kind of uh, cardioid we're talking about. It must be this kind. Of okay. And then we should overlay these two graphs. So to take this graph and overlay it. And this is what's happening. We we are starting at this curve, and we're ending at this curve. That's what it says. Right? You start at r equals to 4, and you end at the cardioid. So you start at the circle, you end at the cardioid. And remember, this is dr. dr means you're going radially, radial direction. So you start from the origin, and you go radial direction, and uh, because this rays, ray is going radially, and then you start at this curve. It's like this, right? So that's what it means to start at the circle, and then you end at this. Okay. Over here it will be kind of opposite. However, it's not the, the entire domain that's captured between the two curves, because 
your theta is from negative pi over 2 to 0. So which one do you think you'll get? What is this, this direction, negative pi over 2? Okay. Negative pi over 2. Pi over 2 is what degrees? 90 degrees. So what's, what's negative 90 degrees? That's same, same as 270 degrees. As it's coterminal co angles with 270 degrees. So you're actually going this way. Okay. So you, you, you begin with, you, your, your painting job begins on this ray. And where does it end? And what's that? Which direction is that? Zero is? Zero degrees is? To the right. To the right. X equal to zero degrees. I mean, uh, no. Zero degrees is x axis because when we, whenever we talk about the angle theta, it's the angle from what? Po the positive x axis, right? So when you say zero degrees, theta equal to zero, that should mean this one, this range. Okay. And you're going from here until there. And in, in this, you always begin at this circle and you end here. So what do you think? Just that You get this much. So that's the domain that you have to sketch. All good? Right. Let's do another one. Uh, is this good? Yeah. All right. Let's do another one. Suppose you have integral of some function. I don't want to think too much about the function. I just want to record the drawing. So write this out. And uh, So suppose you go from 1 to 2 cosine 3 theta. And then you start from 0, and you end at pi over 9. What kind of graph would this be? So the question is, sketch the domain, domain of integration. Same deal. You think about r equal to 1, which is circle of radius 1. And you think about r equals to 2 cosine 3 theta. What is this? With three petals. It's a rose with three petals, right? When you plug in 0, you get what? <coughs> two. 2. You get 2. And notice that that's the, the farthest it can be from the origin. So this must be a tip of, of one of the rose petals. Agreed? And then. It should hit 0 at some point. When does it hit 0? When 3 theta becomes what? Yeah, yeah, you're right. 30 degrees is right. So when 3 theta is equal to 90 degrees, cosine of 90 degrees gives you 0, right? And if you solve for, for theta, you get 30 degrees. So at 30 degrees, at 30 degrees, it hits 0. And by the way, that's probably enough for us to draw because we're only going from 0 to pi over 9. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, and pi over 9 is what? Uh, it's, since pi is 180, 180 divided by 9 is 20 degrees. So it's definitely less than 20 degrees. OK? All good? All right. OK, now. Uh, 
Now think about overlaying this over here. So you have one the circle. And it, it looks like maybe the point where they meet is 20 degrees. Maybe that's why I have the 20 degrees here. Pi over 9 radius is the same as 20 degrees. So let's check that. Okay. So if we have, if we evaluate r equals to 2 cosine 3 theta at theta equal to pi over 9, let's see what that gives us. That's 2 times cosine of 3 times pi over 9, which is 2 times cosine what? 3 and 9 cancels, uh, reduces to what? Pi over 3. What's cosine pi over 3? One half. Okay. And therefore, they cancel to give you 1. Which is exactly the distance, uh, exactly a point on the circle. Okay. Being 1 from the, the origin means it's on this circle of radius 1, right? So we, we, see, we do see that this point is indeed, this point here is indeed, if I put point P, P is indeed distance 1 away from the origin with the angle pi over 9. And now let's think about the, the rays. The rays are going from 0 degrees to pi over 9, so it's sweeping this much. Uh, I, I spoke about how it's similar to radars. You go, you, you go like searching 360 degrees, but now it's limited to searching 0 to pi over 9. So you're only searching from here to there. And while you're doing that, you are beginning at the circle, because that's the circle. So you begin at this, this circle here, and you end at this, this pedal. And you're going radially. So try to paint this region radially. What happens? So you end up with this region. So that's like uh, a region captured between the pedal and the circle on the first quadrant. Okay. You can describe it like this. So if it was from negative pi over 9 to pi over 9. Yeah, this, this can have many variations. You have to <laughs> always be careful about watching for this one because if it was from negative pi over 9 to positive pi over 9, it would have been this, this other region. Yeah. 